What's up YouTube, MacGyver7 here, and today we're gonna get into how do you sideload apps onto Xiaomi's new Mi Box, all right? So, basically the Mi Box is an Android TV box that is pretty awesome. It allows you to do a lot of great things, the UI is pretty good, and it's not too hard to use, all right? So, to get things going, let's go ahead and down to the Google Play Store, the very bottom under apps. Once you click on the Google Play Store, let's go up here and go to the search function. Now you have two options. You can use the on-screen keyboard by simply clicking into the white speak to search Google Play box, or you can be cool and use the voice um, button on your key remote and actually do a voice search. So let's go ahead and do the voice remote, all right? ES File Explorer. Now, ES File Explorer is an awesome file manager for any Android device, TV set-top box, phone, Etc. All right, allows you to have full access into the file folders on your device. It allows you to see different things in there. Sometimes it allows you to go in there. You can change pictures and things like that and do awesome things with it. So for this instance, we're going to use ES File Explorer File Manager to actually help us with sideloading apps from our installed USB flash drive in the back of our Mi Box. All right. So once you get this set up, you're going to get this screen here. You're going to click Install. I already have mine installed, so you're going to go ahead and click. I'm going to go ahead and click Open. So we're going to go and see what it looks like. So once you get inside of ES File Explorer, you're going to see all, all different types of things here, right? But don't worry about any of that, especially if you're new to this. I know it can be a lot. Don't worry about it. The only thing you're going to focus on is what's under local, all right? So you're going to use your remote. You're going to scroll over here to where it says local. You're going to go down. You're not going to press anything else. You're just going to go down. Now you're going to look for a USB. Now mine says USB 1002. Yours may see something else, all right? But you're going to look for a USB. Yours may even say the name of your USB flash drive if you're cool enough to name it, all right? So you'll find a USB flash drive. You're going to click on USB 1002. Now you're going to click on open. Now you'll find the name of your USB device. Mine is entitled Mac Drive. All right? So now you're going to find all your file folders on your USB flash drive. For me, all my installed Android apps are in the Kodi Builds folder. So I'll click here, and as you can see, here are my Android apps, all right? So if I wanna install any of these, I'll simply click on the ones entitled APK, all right? If your files don't say APK, there's a good chance that the files you download and put in your flash drive may not be okay, all right? It may not be a good file. You may have to go back and install a different one. You're gonna get an error, all right? So once you find your Android files, just simply click on one. I'm gonna click on mouse toggle, and then it's gonna say cancel market install. All right, and for this instance, you're gonna click on install and it's gonna give you a prompt. It's gonna say, do you wanna install this application? All right, you click install and it's gonna start installing. All right, and once it's installed, it's an app installed and it's gonna say done. All right, now you go back to your main menu. Now these apps that you're sideloading may not show up on your apps area okay you may actually have to go into settings to view these apps and for this case this one didn't show up so i have to go to my settings i'm going to click on apps and then i'll click on download apps and i'll go over here and click on mouse toggle and this is the one i just installed now for you guys who already know what mouse toggle is i have good news i spoke with one of the creators of mouse toggle and he said he's in the works of actually making an app mouse toggle for the Xiaomi Mi Box, all right? So he said it'll be up maybe in a couple days. He hasn't got an actual Mi Box yet. As you know, these devices are pretty hard to find since everyone's looking for one. But he did say that he's gonna be working on a new app just for the Mi Box. So you guys just be patient. You have mouse toggle, which means if you have mouse toggle, you will be able to use the Xfinity TV Go app on here, which will make this thing even better, all right? So stay tuned for that. If I get any more word from him, I will let you guys know and keep you guys up to date. But this is pretty much how you're gonna install apps. Now, you may have to go into settings as well and go into your privacy settings and make sure that your Mi Box allows third party or unknown apps, okay? Because sometimes it's gonna ask you for different things such as, hey, do you wanna install this app, unknown sources? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go click on security and restrictions. All right, once you click on security and restrictions, you're gonna go over here and it says unknown sources. You're gonna make sure that's on, all right? And also gonna make sure verify apps is on, all right? No restricted profile, don't worry about that. Leave that alone. Do not mess with that, all right? Now you're only gonna go here if your side loaded apps do not work or you get an error. If you get an error, you need to go to settings. Now I'll go back out to show you. Let's go back out. You're gonna go here, settings. 
You're gonna go down here to where it says security and restrictions on their personal. You go over here, it says unknown sources. You simply click it and turn it on. Once you turn it on, you should be able to download any of those apps that are on your flash drive using ES File Explorer Manager, and you should be good to go. Be able to click on those apps, use them as if you're using a regular Android device, such as a phone, a tablet, etc. All right, so guys. This is pretty much it. This is how you would sideload apps onto your Xiaomi Mi Box. Again, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Continue to subscribe to my channel and look out for new videos and new tutorials and things like that. Thank you again, guys.